Hello everyone, myself Bharadwaz. Today we are discussing about on delay timer. Open your PLC software and on the left side scroll down, go to timer section and select on delay. Timers are very important in PLC programming. These are used in industries whenever there is a timing related event like you want to start a motor after 10 seconds or after some equipment is turned on. Whenever that equipment is turned on for more than 10 seconds, then you want to start one more equipment. Like that, we will use this type of blocks in those applications. So what this on delay timer block do is, it will simply delay the on time. Okay, first give the block name on delay timer. Okay. So this is our on delay timer and if you see there are one input and one output right these are digital inputs so take one digital input connect and I will use i3 you can use any input no issue and give the command input okay next take one output connect this one and this is our output okay now i will open the plc hardware I will download the program, go to tools, transfer PC to logo. If you don't have the hardware with you, just do the simulation and learn the function block of on delay timer. Program is downloading. Download completed. I will go to online. For simulation, you just simply click the sim icon. You can directly go to the simulation. Also, follow our YouTube channel and subscribe to the so what this blog do is whenever the input is on then this delay timer if you see there is one parameter only we have to enter let's suppose i will enter five seconds and this is minutes field this is seconds field i need five seconds so i entered five here if i need two minutes then i will enter two here and zero here okay in this case i am using 5 seconds okay so whenever the input is on for more than 5 seconds then only the output will be on that means the on status of the input is delaying for 5 seconds clear on delay on will be delayed for the specified amount of time in this case i entered five seconds so the on status of the input will be delayed for five seconds and the output will be on after five seconds only we will test the logic now so now the input is off i will turn on the input then immediately the timer will be started observe input is on timer started whenever it reaches 5 then output is on so 
so what is happening here my on status of the input is delayed for the specified time i will turn off the input again output is off now again i will turn on the input again timer started whenever it reaches 5 seconds then output will be on if the input is turned off now the output also will be off so this is the on delay timer the on status of the input will be delayed for the given time okay now we will learn about one more option so before that we will turn on the input again so input is on after 5 seconds output will be on clear here see output is on in the hardware now from this options we can start and stop the plc in this case if you see the output is on timer is 5 seconds reached output is on now i will turn off the plc see what happens you can also observe in the hardware also the plc will be off whenever it will be off the orange color light will be displayed background see plc is off background orange color display came and output one is also off here status also input and output both are off now i will start the plc again plc started again timer started after 5 seconds only the output is on whenever plc turned off and turned on again or started and stopped or stopped and started it will do the calculation again it will fetch the input status then the timer will be started then the output will be turned on so it will not save any the, any previous data but in some cases some applications you want to save the status in this case then what you have to do go to properties and if you see one option is there retentivity select this one for many blocks you can find this retentivity option that means that the specific block parameters can be saved during power off plc power off whenever it started again it will continue from that previous state press ok now i will turn off the plc again observe i am stopping the plc plc turned off output is off here status also off now i will start the plc again see the output status and timer value output immediately on timer showing the previous value previous last value so this is how the retentivity works and if you have any working experience with the plc's or in the industries share with us how you use or find the application of on delay timer function in your control philosophy like loop oil pump control main pump control or different batch process control batch sequence control specific application share with us where do you find this on delay timer through the comment section so that we will learn more from you also more inputs more knowledge thank you I will meet you in the next session.